Governor Perdue, distinguished guests, honored law enforcement colleagues, and most importantly, our specialist athletes. I'm honored to have the opportunity to speak for a few minutes about the Law Enforcement Sports Run Program. As law enforcement professionals, we are the guardians of the flame. This is a huge responsibility, but one not taken lightly. This flame is a symbol of hope, a symbol of inspiration, and a symbol of perseverance. This torch has traveled across Georgia over the past three weeks, and today we are running the final leg of that journey, which will end tonight at the opening ceremonies of the Summer Games for Special Olympics Georgia at Emory University. The Law Enforcement Torch Program began in Georgia in 1987, and in those 23 years, the Torch Run Program has raised over $5 million for Special Olympics Georgia. Let me give you a few highlights of this year. Currently, we have about 80 police departments participating. We raised over $550,000 this year. We had our first annual polar plunge, which was held at Lake Lanier and raised over $51,000 with 175 plungers. February 19th of 2011 is our next year's plunge, and we hope that it'll be even better. Our top five police departments raising funds for Special Olympics are Chatham County Sheriff's Office, Marietta Police Department, Johns Creek Police Department, Kennesaw Police Department, and the Atlanta Police Department. We also did a first-time partner with Red Robin for tip -a cop and raised $7,000. Our Cops on Donut Shop raised over $96,000. And we got Joe's Crab Shack tip -a cop program coming up on June the 3rd. And we, of course, want to thank our presenting sponsor, which is Public Supermarkets, which raised almost $300,000 in icon sales this past January. Our goal is to reach the $1 million mark in the near future. <coughs> also, I would like to thank all of my law enforcement brothers and sisters who give unselfishly of their time, money, and energy to help support and bring recognition to the athletes of Special Olympics Georgia. Most of us joined our profession because we felt a calling to serve others. It is only fitting that those we serve include the athletes of Special Olympics. take the time to invest in the lives of others, your return will be infinite. If you look at the lives of these athletes and others you invest your time in, you will see this is true. Lastly, to all the athletes, let me tell you what you mean to us. All of you inspire us daily with your courage, your determination, and your teamwork. Thanks for being you. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce a friend of law enforcement and a friend of Special Olympics Georgia, Governor Sonny Perdue. to the cadets this morning for not getting the dress code memo. I, I did get the hair memo, though. So uh, <laughs> I'm glad to be with all you all. And uh, we appreciate so much our law enforcement agencies across the state uh, participating in this great effort. And for those of you who have ever attended a Special Olympics, whether it's local or statewide, the spirit overwhelms you. Uh, I think it represents really true athletics and what athletics means to all of us in the spirit of intense competition but also the camaraderie that exists among the competitors and that's uh, seen no place ever any better than special olympics as the fiercest competitors in a race or any other event then walk off arm in arm in a spirit of fellowship in a spirit of laying leave it all on the field but uh, these competitors these athletes represent the best of all of us. And frankly, many of us can take something from their competition and, and understand to watch them and observe them in their behavior on and off the field. They give it all. They give it all, all for the spirit of competition. But then when it's over, they, uh, they hug one another, they greet one another, and they walk off arm in arm. So <clears throat> ultimately, Chief, that's really from a law enforcement standpoint, we're called to do the same thing. You're called to defend, to protect, to serve our citizens. But then we've got to assume in the United States of America, we're citizens, we're, we're called to be treated with respect and compassion and mercy while always administering justice. And I want to thank you all. I want to thank uh, all the sponsors who have had, had a part in this. The money that's raised for this event is significant. and. Uh, 23,000 athletes, 23,000 uh, athletes across the state. And uh, it's, a, it's a special time, a 
a special event. I, I want to challenge you. If you haven't been, I want to tell you, you cannot go and not be changed, literally. You can never go to a Special Olympics and not feel better about mankind, humankind, when you leave, about the spirit that's there. When you think about the spirit of the Olympics, the, the global Olympics that we had here in Atlanta, uh, I don't even think it compares to the spirit that you get in the Special Olympics being there and sensing that. So I do want to thank all of you, particularly our law enforcement community, as well as our Special Olympic organizers, volunteers, sponsors, and because this is much more, about much more than just competition. Uh, these participants learn the life skills, they learn the relationships, they make lasting friendships. And uh, athletes who step up to the Special Olympics Challenge frankly do better at school, at work, and at home. It is a true purpose for them. The training and determination developed in this overall effort from uh, beginning to the end literally pay a lifetime dividend. So thank you guys for being willing to participate in this. I'm glad to see our athletes represented here this morning. I know that you and all your competitors have worked hard to prepare for these games. And we look forward to seeing uh, where you're going to do these next, next three days. It's going to be a great opportunity. So you come on and give us a word and go get them.